America, the land of the free, home of the brave, and apparently, a whole bunch of rocks. Okay, maybe not just rocks, but America's national monuments are something else. These protected areas are like America's greatest hits album, showcasing its diverse landscapes, from stunning canyons to ancient ruins. Imagine standing in the shadow of a giant sequoia, older than your great-great-great-grandpappy, or gazing at a canyon so grand it'll make your jaw drop faster than a politician's promise during an election year. That's the magic of America's national monuments. These landmarks aren't just pretty faces, they're like history books brought to life. They whisper tales of ancient cultures, volcanic eruptions that would make a Michael Bay movie look tame, and landscapes sculpted by forces more powerful than a reality TV star's publicist. So buckle up, Buttercup, because we're about to embark on a hilarious journey through America's national monuments, where history meets humor and nature throws a party for your senses. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. First things first, let's get one thing straight. A national monument isn't just a mountain with good PR. Sure, some mountains are monuments, but we're talking about a whole lot more. Picture this, sprawling forests, shimmering deserts, bubbling hot springs, even underwater wonderlands. National monuments are like the cool kids in school, designated by the President of the United States for their historical, cultural, or scientific importance. Think of them as VIP areas protected by the big guy himself. Now you might be thinking, Trevor, why should I care about a bunch of old rocks and trees? Well, my friend, these aren't just any rocks and trees. They've witnessed history unfold, from dinosaurs roaming free to civilizations rising and falling. Visiting a national monument is like taking a time machine, except you don't need a DeLorean or a flux capacitor, just a good pair of shoes and a sense of adventure. Okay, let's be real. Everyone knows about the Grand Canyon. It's like the Beyonce of national monuments. Iconic, always crowded, and impossible to get a good picture with. But America's got talent beyond the A-listers. Get ready to explore the hidden gems, the underdogs, the monuments your GPS has never even heard of. Ever heard of Craters of the Moon National Monument? It's like stepping onto the set of a sci-fi movie, with volcanic landscapes that'll make you believe in aliens. Or how about Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument? Ancient cliff dwellings built by the Mogollon people centuries ago. Talk about prime real estate. And for our underwater enthusiasts, there's Papa Hanamakuakea Marine National Monument in Hawaii. Don't even try to pronounce it, just know it's home to more marine species than a Shark Week marathon. These hidden gems are like the secret menu at your favorite restaurant, full of surprises and guaranteed to impress your friends. All right, adventurers, time to ditch the couch and plan your epic National Monument escapade. First things first, choose your adventure level. Are you a glamping enthusiast who enjoys nature from the comfort of a luxury yurt? Or are you a rugged outdoorsman who laughs in the face of mosquitoes and unpaved roads? Once you've identified your inner explorer, it's time to do some research. The National Park Service website is your new best friend. It's got all the info you need from entrance fees to ranger-led programs. Pro tip check for any required permits or reservations, especially if you're planning on channeling your inner bear grills and camping overnight. And remember, spontaneity is great for bad decisions, not so much for national monument visits. These places are popular, so book your accommodations and tours in advance, especially if you're traveling during peak season. You don't want to end up sleeping in your car unless that's your thing, then by all means embrace the open road. Section 5, Packing Like a Pro Monument Edition Packing for a national monument trip is like packing for a first date. You want to be prepared for anything without looking like you're trying too hard. First and foremost, comfortable shoes are a must. You'll be doing more walking than a runway model during fashion week, so leave the stilettos at home. Next up, layers, layers, layers. National Monument weather can be more unpredictable than a Kanye West Twitter rant. One minute it's sunny, the next you're caught in a hailstorm. Be prepared for anything Mother Nature throws your way. And let's not forget the essentials. Water bottle, sunscreen, hat, sunglasses, and a healthy dose of common sense. Remember, we're here to appreciate nature, not become one with the mosquitoes. Pack your bug spray, people. Section 6. Respecting the Past, Protecting the Future Now before you go full-on wilderness explorer, remember these national monuments are more than just pretty backdrops for your Instagram feed. They're sacred places steeped in history and ecological importance. So, channel your inner park ranger and follow the rules. Stay on designated trails, pack out everything you pack in, 
that includes those granola bar wrappers. And for the love of all that is good, don't carve your initials into any ancient trees. They've been through enough, trust me. Remember, we're guests in these natural wonders, and it's our responsibility to leave them as pristine as we found them. Think of it like borrowing your friend's car. You wouldn't return it with an empty tank and a dented bumper, would you? Section 7. Monumental Photo Ops. Strike a pose. Let's be real. No National Monument visit is complete without photographic evidence. But before you go full-on influencer, remember a few things. First, ditch the selfie stick. Nobody looks cool holding a giant metal arm, and you don't want to accidentally knock over any unsuspecting tourists. Second, get creative. Anyone can take a boring old snapshot. Think outside the box, find unique angles, and capture the true essence of these incredible places. And for the love of all that is holy, put down the filter. These landscapes are stunning enough on their own. They don't need any help from Instagram. And last but not least, remember to put the phone down every once in a while and actually enjoy the view. You can post all the pictures you want later, but the memories you make will last a lifetime. Section 8, Monumental Memories, Souvenirs and Stories. As your epic national monument adventure comes to an end, you're going to want something to remember it by, besides that questionable sunburn on the back of your neck. But before you stock up on cheesy shot glasses and my parents went to insert monument name, and all I got was this lousy t-shirt t-shirts, consider something a little more meaningful. Support local artisans and snag a handcrafted piece of jewelry or pottery. Not only will you be supporting the local economy, but you'll also have a unique souvenir that tells a story. And let's be real, nobody needs another shot glass. But the best souvenirs are the stories you bring home. Share your adventures with friends and family, regale them with tales of breathtaking views and hilarious mishaps, and who knows, maybe you'll inspire them to embark on their own national monument adventure. Section 9, Go Forth and Explore. So there you have it, folks. A crash course in experiencing America's national monuments like a pro, with a healthy dose of humor thrown in for good measure. Now go forth, explore, and create your own unforgettable adventures. And remember, when in doubt, channel your inner park ranger and always pack snacks. Happy trails.